My career started as a professional interior designer with my first and only job taking me to Dallas, Texas. After about a year, all my newlywed clients were requesting baby nurseries to be designed into their homes. Not liking the juvenile furniture selection that was out there back in 1991, I started designing my own line of Stephanie Ann Room to Grow Furniture for Babies and Children. A decade into having my own design selling nationwide, I was known as the queen of baby designs. After many years, I realized that my boutique was a mecca of everything I loved, so I strategically decided to scale down my interdesign clientele so that I could create lines and collections that I adored and designed myself. Soon thereafter, my husband sold his business to his partner, so I found it was the perfect time to enjoy a possible summer away. I suggested to him that we move to the hills of Guanajuato, where I heard it was a small Spanish colonial town that was known as an artisan community. So we packed up our two fat cats and put our furniture in storage and we were off. Once we settled into this historic central Mexico village, I was taking sculpture classes and my professor suggested I take a jewelry class or two. I was instantly hooked. My first designs were inspired by the Spanish crown jewels and were influenced from the local Mexican culture, architecture, colors, and other royal family jewels from different countries as well. My tiny pieces of art were originally intended to be gifts for my interior design clients, glamorous paperweights, or sculptures to sit on a table as decorative art. Then I realized that I could actually put a little hook on the back and wear them as pendants on a leather cord. My chains were created next. I continued sculpting my pieces out of bronze. To make a much more rich look, I decided to dip the bronze sculptures in 24 karat gold, then added authentic semi-precious stones. During that time, my store was still thriving. I would visit monthly from Mexico to train and check on things. Soon I noticed every time I went there that the customers and clients would always be engaged in the jewelry I was wearing. So I added a jewelry collection to my furniture boutique and we had a fabulous launch party. In the fall of 2010, the buzz got back to Neiman Marcus's corporate office. Only two months later, I was invited to show my work at a trunk show in their Palm Beach location. We had a record-breaking event. Immediately, the department store requested their very own assortment to begin retailing in their stores. The Stephanie Cantus fashion brand was officially launched in the spring of 2011.